guys, my hair, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Kim dong -un's second mini album, D Night. His first mini album was called D Day. Um, but yes, so I ordered these from K pop market 01, and sadly enough, I got some JBJ cards with this album. So let's look through these and cry. And we have this cute group one. Oh, I really like these cards. I don't believe I ordered true colors from k-pop market 01 back when this album came out so i actually do not already own this set of freebie cards so that's really exciting that i was able to get these and as you can see here i have both the a version and the b version i originally when i bought his first mini album one version and then i ended up going back and buying the second one he was my bias in jbj um so i've decided to collect up to two versions of his solo releases for the time being. So yes, let's go ahead and get started with the A version. So this is the front cover of the A version. The back cover. And here's the spine. It's very, very thin. But yes, the CD is actually in the back. Why is my exposure being weird? Oh God. The CD is actually in the back and I really like the CD because it makes it feel like I pulled the CD plate. <laughs> <laughs> and I never have ever pulled Kim dong -un's CD plates in anything. I used to collect him in JBJ. Um, so that makes me really, really happy. And then we have a photo book. It's like way sunnier than I'm used to filming in today. So hopefully this does not come out as too like blown up. Oh, there's five different songs and five different songs. There's five songs on this album. Um, I've only heard Goodnight Kiss actually as of right now, but I absolutely adored his first mini album. So I'm super excited to listen to this one. This song's called Born. He looks like such, oh my gosh, he's so handsome. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that hat, but. Oh my gosh, I love that photo. I really like Goodnight Kiss. It's not exactly what I was expecting, and I don't quite love it as much as his first mini's title track, but I still really like the song, um, and I've been listening to it quite a bit, so of course I wanted to buy this album, and of course I plan on buying JBJ 95's album as well. Um, this is really blown out. How do I make this less blown out? Yeah. Okay, that's a lot better. Ooh, I really like this concept. What is the point of that sweater? That would not keep you warm. Just saying. Oh my gosh. So incredibly handsome. He looks so good with orange hair too. Like, that's one of those weird colors. I feel not a lot of people pull off very well. But, oh my gosh, look at this outfit too. Oh my gosh. Little king of Halloween. And that is it for version A. I'll go over random stuff at the end. So this is the B version. There no, there's no difference in the songs. I'm not sure about concept difference. Probably isn't one. It's his CD for this version. I never really do anything with my CD plates either. When I pull like like a random member CD plate, I just keep it in the album. Like some people store them in binders and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about keeping CDs in binders, but yes, it looks like we're gonna get some more bathroom shots. Some of these photos are really blurry, but then some are like, like super quality, clear, sharp, like photos. So I really like when there's a combination of them. Also, I love his orange hair with his white background and like his white shirt. Like, oh my gosh, it makes it pop. I love that. Oh my gosh. I can't even be mad. It's the same concept because Dong Han looks so handsome. Then I just like needed both photo books. I 
thought he wasn't wearing pants for a second. He's wearing jean shorts in the middle of October. Okay. Here's that again. This isn't exactly the same photo book. No, it's not. It's just the same concepts. Look how pink. Oh my gosh. This was definitely not all done on the same day because his hair looks like different shades of orange. I don't know how to describe it. Also, I'm sure the lighting and all that has something to do with it. But yeah, so that was version B's photo book. You get two photo cards. Um, it's a set of 10 and you get two in each album. And I think it's like five for version A, five for version B or something like that. But the two that I pulled in version A, okay. oh, <laughs> this kind of looks, his face is very like, the exposure is very high in this photo, so, <laughs> but he still looks very handsome, his hair looks very red there, and then, oh, I like this one a lot, this is the other one that I pulled in version A, and it has a black back. Yes, and then the two I pulled in version B, we have, I pulled a photo card with his orange hair in the white background, I really like it, and then this one has an orange back, and I pulled this one too, this one's really cute, and has a white back, so I think maybe they put like the different cards in each album, I feel like last time I bought his album, it was more like like I pulled duplicate photo cards because I pulled, there was like 10 total um, and you could pull them in either album, but it feels like it's not like that this time. But that is it for my unboxing of Kim dong ans second mini album, D Night. I absolutely love this concept and I loved this whole album release and I cannot wait to see what he does in the future. I hope he has a lot of success as a solo artist because I feel like I don't ever hear a lot of people talking about his, um, songs when they get released so definitely check this album out if you have not already and none of these photo cards are up for trade i will just keep them <laughs> but um i do have one card from his first album still up for trade i'll go ahead and leave my photo card um trade and sale link in the description box like i always do but it's not completely updated so if you're looking for something else. I plan on updating it after I take my GREs. I just haven't had a chance to go back through all my binders and do that. Um, so I plan on doing that after this Thursday, but if you want to see what else I have coming album-wise, go ahead and look in the description box down below. I write it all down there. Um, I have Monster X's album coming next week, and I just have, I have NG's album in this package as well, so you'll see that unboxing next. And um, there's a lot of comebacks happening within the next couple weeks. I did end up pre-ordering IZ1's album <laughs> the other day um, because I really, really want to collect NB and I felt that the easiest way to do that would be to just have the album. Um, so yes, I don't know if I will pre-order in the future for IZ1, but at least for this debut album, I decided to pre-order it. But yeah, that was a very long outro, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!